the orange one here. So uh, I played a little bit between the last episode and right now, and I believe, uh, let's see, I believe we had the crew that was coming back here. Um, they were getting close, but they weren't quite back. And so basically my plan right now is to, what, that's, that was kind of a weird shot with the lightning, <laughs> let you see how low of texture the lightning really is. Um, yeah, they're pretty much back at base, and I think we had a couple people run ahead, uh, because they had, like, iron plates, I believe. Yeah, they had iron plates, and we were using said iron plates, um, to build this well. Yeah. And then we should be able to get this, this place up and running. I think I've already said that my plan is basically to make this place be, like, a little groggery. Where we can just make a ton of alcohol and sell it to the robots. Because, yeah, robots buy alcohol, don't ask too many questions. Kind of thing. <laughs> um, and we'll see how that goes. I also want to let you all know, you probably have seen the post by now because I posted it on YouTube. But I'm just recording this after I realize that my computer is not going to be able to handle Bannerlord. Which, yeah... I'm not too happy about. Um, I'm hoping that I can get it all ordered and get the game and get it all set up around the time it gets it comes out on the 31st. And dare I say it, I may actually want the game to get delayed a little bit more so that I can get set up in time. Um, I don't want it to get really delayed. I want to play it, but if I can't play it on the channel... I don't want other people to play on the on their channels and take away from my viewers, you know. Um, yeah, it's it is what it is. I really was hoping that Manlord would be the big breakthrough for this channel, but it may not be doable. Uh, you guys don't need to run past. If there's anything that you can work on? Why don't we get you guys working on stuff? If there's a job for you to do, do it. Because here's here's um. Here's the thing, is that in game, I want to get a peeler here, and to get a peeler here, uh, we're gonna, or really we want to use that peeler to take off some people's limbs. Uh, once I have sufficient cybernetics on these princes, um, I think then we can really start doing some cool stuff. Then we'll we'll probably be able to go over to Catlon and kill him. And judging by the viewerships, the viewership on this series has gone down a little bit recently. But, you know, it was going to happen eventually. Um, I just... I don't know. It is what it is. Oh, we could also make another rice weed. Why don't we just make more rice weed? If it lets me. And we could also make sake. That is the other option for us. If we're gonna have a ton of rice weed growing here, which might be the case. I think that green fruit and rice weed basically grow at the same rate. When they're hydroponics, at least. Um, who's the farmer here? Was it Jack? Was Jack the one that we'd left behind? I think Jack was the one we'd left behind. Yeah, you're, you've been told to do hydroponics. I'm gonna stick you on hydroponics um, primarily you can, you should be harvesting from that, or giving them water. Yeah. And then, Jack, I don't know what you're doing, but hopefully you're getting more water. Yeah, you're getting more water for the other thing for us. Good. And this thing, actually, should be able to get producing pretty much right away. And so we'll have three rice weeds uh, doing what we need. Is that what rice actually looks like? I've never actually seen rice growing. I've had it. I've had rice like all my life, but I've never seen it just growing like that specifically. I've seen it in like the in, in pictures in the patties, but I haven't seen it looking like that. Dude, there has to be another rice weed in here, right? No. I guess we're gonna be short one. Please put that in there, Jack. I don't know what you're doing. Oh, this other hydroponics not high up. There we go. Now he should be able to prioritize the, the growing of things. 
Yeah, I'm not really sure what I want to do in the meantime. I think we just kind of need to focus on getting this food production up. Um, and then also making a little bit of profit, because we have Jazz around here somewhere. Uh, Silas, you're working this. Okay, yeah, that's probably a good thing, because we are going to need some more iron plates as we expand things out here. I don't think I really want to make this base too much bigger. Um, unless we're going to increase our, our food production, which I don't think is going to be necessary. Um, where was Jazz, though? Just want to make sure that you were... Oh yeah, you got a kidnapped soldier drone. I completely forgot I was having you do that. Yeah, I uh, also that's just quick save because we're in the Foglands. And you know what they do in the Foglands. They crash this game. Yeah, I actually was looking at my task manager. Um, how hard for me to get to that for you guys to see. But Kenshi is not too bad in terms of my uh my cpu usage it's um yeah it's like using up i think 30 to 40 percent of my cpu usage but when i was looking at um bannerlord it was over 60 percent and combining that with everything else was kind of shutting things down unfortunately so yeah we're gonna need an upgrade i don't know how much i want to spend on it though I'll probably have done it all by the time that you guys have seen it, so I don't know why I'm even <laughs> talking too much about it here. Because y'all aren't even going to be able to give much input. It'll, or The parts will probably be ordered like a week before this has been posted. <laughs> but just kind of explaining a little bit more about why I'm I'm doing that, I thought would be um, pertinent. Then I don't know what to do with my old PC. No, my old PC parts. I don't know. But for nostalgia into a trash can no we'll recy recycle the parts probably but i need to figure out how i'm gonna do that because i've never actually done that i've actually got an old laptop like from college that i still need to recycle it's like sitting it's like a paperweight basically what do you guys do to dispose of your old computers and hard drives and stuff because i've I was talking, I think, with my dad about this, and he was saying, like, um, if I had forgotten what he was telling me, to, I think he was telling me to just take it to a recycling center, but other people online say you should physically destroy the hard drive or, like, drill holes in it and stuff. Um, I don't know. It makes sense. You know, you always hear and see in spy movies that, like, even encrypted hard drives people can, can break down, and if, like, Foreign governments can go and take other foreign government stuff from their computers. I don't know that Bitcoin really, uh, Bitcoin mining with hard drives makes me nervous. You know, I uh, I was actually talking with someone and and they were telling me how they uh, they sell hard drives on the dark web. And it's like, dude, dude, what are you doing? Do not sell used hard drives on the dark web. Everyone you know, all of their information's on there. <laughs> not a good move, right? Oh, come on, Jazz. You can get there. You can get to the fo through the Foglands. Yeah, I think basically right now, from what I remember, but right before I started this recording, we... Uh, also get rid of the staff, you don't need that. You can give that to the Fogman. You can have that back. I lost my train of thought. Oh yeah, right before this, we tried to recruit someone. Oh, there's a prince right there. I kind of want to go for him. No, I'm not going to. Sorry, I keep on getting scatterbrained. Let's see... Open this up and get this new recruit in there. Yeah, basically, we can't really get new recruits right now. Because we're on the cooldown on the timer. It, it should be getting close to the point where we could try to recruit someone again. Soon, at least. Uh, actually, this one, we could try right away. Nope. Does not want to join us. That's a shame. His weapon's... 
trash as well. Where's the fur the little weapon furnace that we made? It's up here, right? Yeah. You know, I was thinking uh we never upgraded things around here at uh as much as I would like to. I probably should work on that a little bit. I don't know if y'all saw, but we've got another couple motorists over here as well. Where's the, uh, there's one of them that does not appear to be working. Yeah, you. Yeah, I got this prince here. And he's like, not even working. Why not? Oh, this thing's full. Oh, and you don't have the storage capacity. Yeah, I also need to figure out how to automate the, um, the limbs being taken from here. Uh, I mean, that's hauling too f that, but there, I feel like there should be a storage container just for robotic limbs, and then they would get taken over, but I've seen storage for robotics, but not for the actual robotic limbs, you know? Do another robotic storage, that's probably not a bad call. Now I might just do um, one of the general storage things. What is it called? Is it general storage? Yeah, general storage boxes. We'll do that right there. Because that, I think, will be nice for putting dead limbs in places. Okay. Pretty sure we got robotic storage here, though. And I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure that you can't put a limb in there. No, nope, it's an invalid container type. So I thought, well, we've got plenty of these things. Uh, there and there, those are being made. Let's also get you on this. You haven't got anything else to do. Maybe you can work on making that. Probably also need another station for making the... Um, Delta muscles, right? Yeah, let's make another one of these, another robotics bench. If we're gonna make our robotics industry actually work, that would probably be a good thing. Because um, we're probably gonna need a couple more of these. Do like. I think the skeletal muscles actually take a long time to make, which reminds me that we were gonna go get those from iron spiders but I don't know I think I kind of want to leave Igor and his crew up here for a while uh what's up with Jack Jack could you get some water on that we don't need it. you working the well anymore seeing how it's already being made I don't know what to do with y'all could Actually, oh, that's that's full. That's why that's not not being used. Um, building materials, sure. Those right here by the building. That should be good for now. Uh, who's being attacked? Wait, what? Are these bogmen coming in? Something? Games loading up so it's gonna take a second but i think we're getting attacked by fogman i don't think any faction was trying to attack us no no factions trying to attack us oh yep we got fogman tell you what people on the turrets just don't shoot let the people that are already there finish them off though they're about to take care of it uh Gunner, you're a worker. Don't get in there. Yep, okay. They're done. See, that wasn't so bad. And I don't know if this was kind of bugged out when it was just me or if you guys were with me, but the game like was uh, having some issues. Oop. Open that up, but keep it locked. Yeah, it seems like the the Kenshi Hivers Only series is slowing down, which I'm not really sure how I feel about it because, I mean, I have been playing this for like a year plus. 
And so I kind of feel like I'm ready to move on to some other things, but at the same time, I've really, really enjoyed the community that's kind of formed around this. Muscles, and repeat on that. I think we've got steel bars around here somewhere. Why are you not working on this? There's motors. Is it because I had, like, mother command on you? Oh, you don't have storage capacity. Yeah, we need a backpack for this guy. Who's got a backpack on them? Uh, Jazz, we want to keep that on you. Anyone else? I mean, Blue's got, like, some person on their back. That's not really what I'm looking for, though. I think it's a Fogman. Come on, any backpacks? No. Oh. Yeah, I'm not really seeing any backpacks right now. Well, we're box expert. At the very least, we can have you just drop the food. I'm very confused as to why you're bugged out right now. Keeps on trying to grab all of those. There we go. Looks like he managed to get a motor. I am so confused as to why he was not able to do that, but whatever. Problem solved. Uh, this, I, I was trying to boost our defenses here. So if that soldier guard would join me, I'd really like that, but no. Looks like you know. Okay, um. What was Blake doing down here? I mean, these guys probably won't join us if the other ones wouldn't talk to us. Oh, actually, no, they will talk to us. Okay. Strange, but I'll, I'll, I'll take it. We can get more fighters. Probably a good move, seeing how we're gonna try and take on Catlon not long from now. Though I do suspect it's gonna take a little while to upgrade all the limbs, so I'm not sure how much I want to dedicate towards that. Oh no, no, I pressed the wrong button! Oh my god. I can't believe I did that. I just pressed the wrong button. We could have had another recruit. I just did one and two because I was doing that with with the Fogman. <laughs> we got a lot of very talented people just standing around here. And I feel bad about it. I mean... Yeah, this stuff is getting produced. But like I said, I think that we're okay. I might try... Oh yeah, Jazz was going to go get us more money, right? Yeah, Jazz was going to go into Mongrel, I think, with the Grog, and see if we can get more cash and get another robotic limb on someone. But I think Igor, we've now got, like, all set up with his robotic limbs. Yeah, get the Grog. Okay. And I'm almost tempted to go down to the, um, the shack. I think we will, just because I kind of want to just get the cash. Let's go trade with the Shek. We'll first trade in Mongrel, then we'll go down to the Shek. And I don't know if I'll have posted it by now, but someone was uh, also suggesting doing a tutorial for Kenshi of like advanced cybernetic industry. And to be honest, I feel like I need to know more about it to do a tutorial. I mean, I could do a decent overview, but like... Some people have done the math on all the times that it takes to build different components. And then they've figured out what the right ratio of like robotic benches on uh, scale to limbs versus like motors versus like the screws and all that stuff. But I think I need to look into that a little bit more before I make a little video on it. I think I got the main idea. It just, to me, it seems that the cybernetics just take too long to make. They just honestly take way too long to make. It's just easier to make other things and then sell it to the, the skeleton um, people inside of villages, you know? 
Like, you can get masterwork quality if you go to the right places, like Black Desert City or Mongrel, which we have bases by both of. And I just think that is faster and easier. I mean, you kind of get randomized uh, limbs. So, sure, you're not going to be able to get your squad all the perfect limb at the point in time, but if you just trade and then stockpile, you should have everything that you need. You know? Let's sell all this grog. Okay, that's all sold. See, and I'm not gonna buy anything here because I don't think we really need to. Um, and we'll just send you down. It's been a while since we've sent anyone down to Admeg or anything. Or Squin. Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bit nervous about sending Jazz all the way down there, so we'll travel with you. And you are very fast, it's just, um... And we'll do another quick save, because Fogland, right? Can't have it crashing on me after I've done 21 minutes of gameplay. That'd be a huge bummer. Bite. You just hear bite in the distance, and munch. Could be that they're just eating seaweed down there. Yeah, the seaweed is so crunchy when you bite into it. I love that though. I love the texture of the seaweed. Like I know a lot of people that I know don't like it and think it's like gross. And it's weird because I don't like fish. And it's like that fishy smell really bothers me, but like seaweed doesn't. Even though it kind of has a similar similar flavor, you know. But like I've been starting to get those little, uh, those tiny little seaweed snacks where they just like flavor it with like, I don't know, is it teriyaki and like some other just like salt and stuff? It's good. I really, really like that. It's so easy. Like I found that my lunches, I used to like make a sandwich every day for my lunch when I had like the time to do that. But I don't really have the time to do that in the mornings anymore. And so I've just been grabbing like seaweed snacks and like uh, trail mix and other things. And it, honestly, I like it. I, trail mix is like a snack to me. It doesn't even feel like a meal, you know? Okay, Jazz, let's get going. You've been running through these foglands for a while. We probably could try and recruit someone. I just kind of want to get you out of the foglands. And then we'll try and recruit that dude back at the anthill. Be a soldier. He'll probably have some really good armor too. Oh, Dredge. You know, somebody suggested that we rename the Black Desert City base uh, Deadland Dredge. <laughs> and that's funny, we just saw a place called Dredge. And it just reminded me. Or was it Deadland Dredges? I think it was Deadland Dredges. Um. Sure. And then we were going to try and recruit someone. Uh, let's go back to here. Back to our base. Our main anthill base. Come on, load up. I believe in you. Yeah, you know, probably upgrading the CPU will probably help with these load times too, huh? And the... My computer does run this game pretty well, honestly. It's not like it much of an issue. Um, that's there. Can you? Sometimes I know that picking them up and putting them back in will help. Nope, nope. Come back. Here we go. We can talk to him. I had a feeling that he'd be willing to talk. No, doesn't want to join us this time. I feel like they're on a different timer than the, uh, than these guys. No. No luck there. I think you guys were just kind of waiting around for that stuff to get produced. And we do have 30k. If we get you to Admeg and you sell some stuff, then we could probably get, like, Igor. Or who's who's our other fast boy? You are. Red main. 
Red main right here. What do you have? Got a left leg and a right leg. They're very nice. Okay, well, we, if we got two arms, two robotic arms, then we could probably peel someone. Give them some good stuff. Oh, actually, Tanishi, we were trying to get you back to base, weren't we? We were trying to run down some of that stuff to the base. Pretty sure. Well, we do have a right arm, so we need a left arm, I think. Hmm. We could also build, like, a little research bench up here. Get, like, a tiny little research bench, and then we could do research from here. I think I'm gonna do that, because I don't want to run this whole group down. We got, like, the peeler set up and a research bench. I think... We only need, what was it, a left arm, and then we could make someone fully cybernetic. Uh, where's research? Not seeing it right now. Not crafting. Why am I blind tech? Here we go. I think we just need this. Pretty sure that's what we've got in the other place. Uh, yeah, we'll get that in the corner there. People can work on it. Cool. Alright, and we got plenty of building materials. This is out of resources. I don't see why it's not being worked on, though. Igor, could you actually be... No. Okay, well, the peeler's ready. Who was it that we were gonna run up there? Was it Red Main? Red Main, just leave that. Leave that. You don't really need that. Same with these. These are such terrible items. I don't really want them. I'm gonna send you up to Black Desert City, Grab House, so that you can buy us some more parts, because I think we are gonna need them. And how are these things doing? Um, needs water. Jack, where are you? Why are things needing water? Oh, we don't have enough water? Really? Oh, what? Why does that have 10 water in it? Why did you just put it back? I'm so confused. Put that in there. There's no reason for that stuff to be dying. There's no reason for this to have 10. And see, that needs water. Doesn't it? And it's actually got all the rice weed that we need. I think we might want to start researching sake production. Uh, Tanishi. Let me get those in there. Yeah, we're gonna be able to get as much hydroponic uh, food as we want. And then... Cool. Uh, how about... Let's look at... I think we do want to up that, but I just kind of want to... Let's get that going there. And then the sake, you actually just need regular books, which I think we have back at the anthill. Uh, let's go back to the anthill, check if we do have those books or not. Maybe we've got the books here. That is also possible. No, I do not have the books here. Really? I could have sworn that we had books laying around here. And there is a book there. Hmm. Intriguing. Let's, yeah, let's go back to the ant hill. I'm pretty sure they've got something there for us that would work. Come on. We're at pretty much the end of the episode. You can do it, Kenshi. I believe in you. There we go. Don't go in uh, here, because I think that's where we've got a research bench. Yes, it is. And... We do have enough for sake. Great. Can we do that first? 
and then, yeah, we'll get the next tech level, but like I was saying, I don't know how much I'm going to really be using that. Uh, sure. Will any of these guys talk to you, the worker will. Sure, let's try it and get the worker to join us. Nope. Bummer. Yeah, I, sh I shouldn't have misclicked that other time. In any case, it's been about half an hour. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.